There's a real risk and hazard of foot entrapment when we're in fast moving water. And often that's based on trying to stand up when it's either A, too fast or B, too deep. In this episode, we're gonna talk about our different lines of defense in relation to self-rescue in the event that we find ourselves upside down and or in the water. First thing, in the event that we end up capsizing, our best line of defense of self-rescue is to roll up. Being able to roll up, keeping ourselves out of the water, exposed from rocks and things like that on the bottom, is probably the best thing that we can do for our own self-rescue. Our second line of defense, in the event that we're unable to roll, is to try and swim our way to shore. We want to make sure that we start swimming first so that we can then start to gauge a combination of both the depth and the speed of the current. Traditionally, we tell people once they're out of their boat that they should get into that whitewater flotation position with their feet up on the surface of the water, arms stretched out to the side. In fact, although that's often taught to beginner or elementary level paddlers, more advanced paddlers really never get into that position or rarely get into that position. But instead, what we want people to do is get in the idea of aggressively swimming, either on their back in a defensive position or on their stomach in an offensive position, towards shore or towards safety. Once we start swimming and we're working our way close to shore, we're going to have to start to make a judgment call on both the speed and the depth of the current. If it's slow and it's shallow, that's when we can stand up. It's important that we don't try to stand up in fast moving water or in deeper moving water for fear of getting our foot stuck and then we potentially have a foot entrapment. The majority of foot entrapments happen close to shore where the water's shallow, somewhere between knee and chest deep. If we can swim towards shore, gathering all of our gear, we're going to continue as far as we can until the water is off. seen in this video, visit ottawapaddleshack.ca.